Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel. And today I want to talk about books that I want to read. <laughs> Shocking. I never talk about that. <laughs> but more specifically, today I want to talk about something that I've noticed in my own reading, which is that when I'm reading young adult, and for some reason I don't notice this with adult books that I read, just in general. So I'm, I'm not quite sure what the issue is here exactly. I can't pinpoint it, but I have noticed it and I'm going to try to correct it. And that is that all of the young adult books that I read that aren't, you know, fantasy or sci-fi or, you know, like something completely not set in this world, for all of the books that are set in this world, they're always set in the US. Every single one. I guess that's not true because I'm going to make a list of exceptions that I own that I haven't read yet or that I would like to reread, but it feels like a lot of them, okay? And the world is a big place. I'm sure some of this is that I am in the US, you know, all of the US market is aimed at me kind of thing. And I just, I want to read more broadly. I'm trying to remedy this one little thing that I have noticed. And that's, that's what this talk is about today. <laughs> So without further ado, these are the books that I've selected that I personally own. I already own them that have been sitting on my shelves that I either want to reread or I want to read for the first time that are young adult books that are not based in the US. This list does not include Harry Potter because I'm already reading Harry Potter actually. I'm reading it in Spanish. So I'm that's already checked off my list. And also I've read it so many times that it practically doesn't count. And then this also doesn't include like super high fantasy that's not based in this world or you know sci-fi or anything like that it's not dystopian it's not like the hunger games where it's based on some kind of future world but the one we're living in no no <laughs> I'm going to start with the first one, which is one that I want to reread. I've actually already read this series and that is the Shades of London series by Maureen Johnson, which London, it's in the freaking series title y'all. <laughs> the Shades of London series is unfinished. There's going to be a book four out at some point. I don't actually know when. The series starts off with the name of the star and basically what happens is that it follows this girl who's from Louisiana but she goes to boarding school in London area and once the main character arrives at London there begins a wave of murders that are mimicking Jack the Ripper. So it's this paranormal fantasy series and it is so good and it deals with ghosts. I enjoy it a bunch and I haven't read them for several years now and so in honor of the fourth book coming out in some indetermined time, I figured I would give this a try again. <laughs> the next book that's on my list is Akata Witch and I unfortunately cannot pronounce the name of the author. I should have looked this up before I started the video, which is the story of most of my videos, so I do apologize. <laughs> I actually picked this up at one of the book festivals I was at because I thought it looked so cool and then I read the back cover and I was like, well, I am sold. It follows Sunny, who was born in New York but lives in Nigeria now. She's also an albino but has West African features and she's also really good at soccer but she can't go out in the sun. The book really starts out where she doesn't feel like she fits in anywhere but even in the first chapter, which is all I've read, they already show hints of her having magical abilities and it's just, oh, it's so good so far. And so I'm really excited to keep reading it. And all the rest I know about it is that her and a couple of her friends form this kind of coven and they are tasked with tracking down this other guy who has magic. And it's just, it's a great fantasy setup already. It's amazing. The next book on my list is actually another book that I got at a different book festival and it's called City of Saints and Thieves by Natalie C. Anderson. And this is a book that just the first sentence, just the opening immediately catches your attention and that's why I bought it. I will read it to you because it's not very long. If you're going to be a thief, the first thing you need to know is that you don't exist. It's based in Africa. All I know is that the main character and her mom are from Kenya and then they move to the Congo. The back of the book mentions it's a little bit like Ocean's Eleven and that it has like murder and revenge and all sorts of things and I'm just so excited. So this next book somewhat circumvents the rules that I kind of set up for myself and that I don't actually know if it's technically young adult and also it starts out again in the US but it's Anna and the Fringe Kiss by Stephanie Perkins because I'm the last person on booktube to read this. <laughs> is it young adult or is it new adult? That's my thing. I don't know. Goodreads says it's mostly young adult. But also romance, so... All right, whatever. It's set mostly in Paris when the main character goes to a boarding school there for her senior year and it sounds really cute. And so I figured with other slightly more serious books on this list, or at least more gripping, let's say, it would be nice to have kind of like a lighthearted one to, to spice it up, to 
to break it up a little bit. Speaking of being the last one on booktube to read anything, I also thought about adding Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor to this list. My thing is that while the other ones I have somewhat of a guarantee that it's follows, you know, my own predetermined rules, so I guess I could just say screw the rules. I don't actually know how much of this is based in Prague. Do y'all struggle with this too? Because I don't want to read too much into the reviews and I also don't want to read too much other than the back cover or the little front inside flap because I really want the book to be a mystery. So I've been avoiding spoilers, you know, more or less just not clicking on any videos that talked about the book. And so it's just, hmm, I don't know if this applies, but I may, I may read it anyways because why not? <laughs> all right, that's all the current books that I have that I want to read or reread that meet this kind of pseudo requirement, which is where I want y'all to come in and maybe recommend me books. And so I'm totally down for adult books. It's just that YA seems to be the part where I'm stuck in the US still. Please comment down below. I would absolutely love to hear about them and look into them and read them someday. I have a library at my disposal, so, and the internet. Really, please give me recommendations. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all very soon with the new video. Bye.